What's been a major part of my life, I say, since 1979, going home and away. First game was Carl Holloway on a Tuesday night, uh, just on a whim, just looked at the fixtures and thought I'll just go to that match and just fell in love with the people, fell in love with the club and have been ever since. The reaction all around from people in the club and from everyone in the room was immense really. Obviously it was emotional but I was hugely proud. Um, I'm quite overwhelmed with it and he would have been just the same. He would have been overwhelmed. His photo and a tribute came up on the scoreboard, he was in the programme, there was 34,000 at that game, I think, all stood clapping, all four stands. And it was just, like I said, it was very emotional but it was really, really comforting just to know. I mean, it, it just showed what Wednesday was all about. It's amazing the camaraderie that you build between uh, supporters and uh, yes, a sense of belonging to a, a, a great group of people. It's completely different. Um, in America, everybody goes their separate ways. Here, we tend to keep in touch quite a bit. We, we socialize together. We, we speak to each other on a regular basis, not just on game days. I've been a football fan longer than I've been an artist, uh, obviously, I, and having experience what it's like to have a passion for something and the experience the joys and the highs and the lows it's it's a great thing for the soul to to be able to witness that and to feel that and football delivers that in spades and so you can you can feed off of that and you can use that so when i when my paintings are about football i take those experiences that i've had going to see wednesday and i project them onto my work Obviously taking the shirt off has made people recognise me more than anything, but at the end of the day I'm just a normal fan as far as I'm concerned. Johnny Portsmouth is a big friend of mine now, who's another character in football, which I think that's great having characters in football, that's what football's about. John Hart's played for us, American, and the first American that most people know to have ever scored at Wembley. He scored the first goal uh, in the eighth minute, I'll never forget. Sheridan playing it now for King, not through the middle now. I think that's what actually grabbed me when I first attended my first match um, was the fact that when one team scored, to see half of a stadium jump up at one time, it, I still get goosebumps thinking about it. The fans then took to singing We're All Wednesday, aren't we? Which is again what it's all about. There's been a lot made of it on, on the club, on the website, and on various websites, and everyone just pulled together, and the, the tribute to him was unbelievable, really. The, the role of a, of a Wednesday fan is, is the end of it, it's the top and the bottom, there's nothing else that, you know, football wouldn't exist without the fans on the level that we go and see it. I mean, you know, you couldn't imagine going to a ground where there's nobody there, it, it wouldn't exist, there would there'd be no point having a football team, so the fa it, without the fans there isn't a football team. The, the passion for our club has come through other clubs as well, where other clubs want to play us because they obviously know the support we've got and the friendship of the fans. Any other club you go to, there's passion there, but Wednesday's passion is so special. Everybody just gets on, it's just like one massive family. I think it would have been overwhelmed. I think he'd have, he's the type of bloke, if you'd have told him that were going to happen, he'd have just laughed at you um, and never expected it because whilst he was well thought of by everybody, um, that would never would, would have been at the forefront of his mind, really. I don't think he, he, he was more... He loved the club, but he loved. He was cared about everyone else, so he would have laughed about it and said, "Shut up." <laughs>